Okay, so for fun, we're going to try to make a little video here instead of just taking pictures. And I'm going to talk about uh, heliotropism. So that's a property of uh, sunflowers where they follow the sun. So if we take a look at this one, you can kind of see that it's sort of leaning towards the sun if you look at the top of it. And, you know, it's at that time of day where the sun is uh, starting to go down. And you'll notice that some of the sunflowers that are just starting to bloom, the, um, the part that becomes the seed head is not leaning anymore. So up to a certain point they lean, but then after that then they just bloom. And these other ones, uh, that one right there, looks like it's still leaning a little bit. So it just depends on the, um, the age of the sunflower. And when they're younger, then all of them pretty much lean in the direction of where the sun is during the day kind of like a solar panel or something. Then if we come in to the backyard, um, we see, let's see if we can get a different angle here. Oh, there goes a, let's see, a vampire rabbit has been spotted. The sunflowers are thankfully too large for it to actually eat anymore, but um, that's why I have this uh, rabbit fence here. So if you see at the bottom, it's a little bit thinner than at the top, so the rabbits can't get through and munch. <laughs> so that's pretty much necessary. So let's see here. Well, yeah, I guess up until very recently, both of these were kind of tracking the sun, but it looks like the seed heads are just about to the point where they don't, you know, they stop moving um, to follow the sun. So these, I believe, are about... 20, 123 inches tall right now. So that's, I don't know, roughly 10 feet. And you can see that they're kind of competing and hoping to get as high or as tall as the garage there. So uh, that's our lesson for the day.